An air conditioner manufacturer sued a compressor supplier for breach of contract, seeking damages for a slew of different losses allegedly caused by the supplier's breach. In Delchai Carrier SPA v. Rotorex Corp., the Second Circuit had to decide whether the manufacturer's claims were legitimate or full of hot air. In January of 1988, Rotorex agreed to sell 10,800 compressors to Delchai Carrier SPA, an Italian air conditioner manufacturer, for use in a line of air conditioners which were scheduled to go on sale later that year. The contract was governed by the United Nations Convention on Contracts for International Sale of Goods, or CISG. After Delchai received the first shipment, it discovered that the compressors didn't conform to the sample model and accompanying specifications. The compressors had a lower cooling capacity and used more power. Delchai tried unsuccessfully to remedy the compressors. It then canceled the contract. Delchai managed to obtain some suitable compressors by expediting an order from another supplier, Sanyo. However, Delchai couldn't find substitutes for the entire order, causing decreased sales in the 1988 season. Delchai sued Rotorex for breach of contract, seeking damages for seven different losses. First, lost profits from diminished sales. Second, expenses incurred in attempting to remedy the non-conforming compressors. Third, the costs of expedited shipping for the Sanyo compressors. Fourth, the costs of handling and storing the rejected compressors. Fifth, costs for shipping, customs, and incidental expenses relating to the shipments of the Rotorex compressors. Six, the cost of insulation, tubing, and tooling that Delchai had purchased that were compatible only with Rotorex compressors. Seventh, labor costs for four days when Delchai's production line was idle because no compressors were available to install. The trial court awarded Delchai $1.25 million in damages for the first four items, but denied recovery for the other three. Rotorex appealed, and Delchai cross-appealed. 